Got to overcome reason and act on revelation. Reason will cause you not to act. It'll cause us to become discouraged. When you start looking at the bills, when you start looking at the problems, you're going to get discouraged because reason going to say, you can't handle this. You can't do this. Don't go right. I know. I've been trying. I can't. Reason will crush you with the burden of reality. You got to Act on revelation. Revelation gives us courage. Revelation is what we can move on. Revelation is power. How do we get revelation? I showed you the process. I told you about meditating on his word. We must act upon revelation with an attitude of simply because he said so. I'm just repeating myself. Now I'm just going on making it more plain. See, when, you know, when, when, when he said, let down the nets, Lord, we done fished all night. We ain't caught none. But because you said so, I'm going to let down and let. You need to have an attitude. When you read something in God's word, he said, by his stripes I'm healed. You know what kind of attitude you need to have? The doctors say you sick. The doctors say you got, the, you got this and you got that. And you say, let me tell you something. His words say by his stripes. Jesus didn't go to the cross for nothing. I'm going to tell you something. I don't, care what you, I don't care what your medicine can't do. I got a doctor that got a medication that you can't even understand. I'm going to get up from this situation, and you need to have much attitude because he said so. You don't let nobody tell you something that God has said otherwise. When God say this, you need to be saying what God said, and I don't care what the world say. You got to have attitude. Because he said so. I mean, those of you that can do your neck, you need to do your neck. <laughs> if he said, you know, when, 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 when they say, uh, uh, we're going to take your house, you ain't taking my house, and I'm going to tell you why not. You got to have attitude. Based upon the revelation, whatever God gives you, you stand on that revelation. When you start reasoning, I know I ain't got but X number of dollars coming in, but some kind of way, I know I've been serving God. I know how it was with Peter. I know he started serving God in a little way, and then when he did what God asked him to do, he took care of every need. His words say, seek first his kingdom and his righteousness, and all these things. Be, I don't know how he's going to pay the mortgage. That ain't my business. I'm going to leave God business to God business. But with attitude, I'm going to have an expectation. Come on, people, I'm trying to show you. This example is giving you this. It's letting you know that. I want you to know that your reason is the way that you think things are going to be. But your ways and the way you think, God's got to refocus your thinking because his ways and his thinking is not your ways and your thinking. As high as the heavens are from the earth, is his thinking so lofty above yours. You, you, you go crazy trying to figure out how God thinking and what he's doing. But I'll tell you one thing, you don't have to understand. You don't have to figure it out. All you got to do is stand on it with attitude and go with revelation. If God said such and such and such and such, that's all I need to know. You better get an attitude. You better realize. Because if you keep trying to do it yourself, you're going to be just like Peter. You're going to be out there fishing all night long and you're not going to come up with nothing. And then you're going to realize, I can't do it. But I got a message for you today. Might as well go and give you the subject. Title is, when you can't, you still can. Yes, you can. Even when you can't. Get this, check it out. Watch the revelation. Master, we done fished all night long. We ain't caught nothing. Great, because when you can't, you still can. Oh, where you get that from? Tell me, what did Peter say? We fished all night, we didn't caught nothing. We didn't catch nothing, right? 
So what's that proof? He couldn't do it. But when he couldn't do it, what did he do? He still did. See, you got to understand, when you can't do it, you still can. You got to get the order right. When everything's on your back and you can't hold up, oh, 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 oh I can't make it. Oh, yes, you can. When you can't, that's when you can. You need to hear what I'm saying to you. You get the order right, because then you have the ability to say, I can't do it, I can't do it. Oh, yes, I can. When I realize I can't and I let go, that's when I can. See, God, God, God let you get in these situations. He let Peter be in there. He knew Peter was working all night. He knew he ain't caught nothing. He had to let him get there so he could realize he can't. He can't. Peter, the first hour he fished, we ain't got nothing but we're going to fish the next hour and we're going to catch something, boys. We're going to make it. Two hours pass. Didn't catch nothing. Well, we're going to keep on going because I know the law going to make a way out of no way. They fished the third hour. Didn't catch nothing. They fished the fourth hour. Didn't catch nothing. Come on, come on. You were in the meditative state. You were out there in the boat with me, weren't you? Didn't you see Peter fishing all night long? Didn't you see him out there just putting a net out there? Just keep trying. Well, maybe if we go over this way, let's put another net. Oh, I'm getting so tired. We, uh, another empty net. Five hours, nothing. Six hours, nothing. Oh, oh come on, let's keep trying. Sir, Peter. Let's just call it a night. We can't make it tonight. Let's go home, get some rest. No, brothers, I know we can do it. Come on, let y'all just give me one more hour. Can you not watch with me one more hour? Tarry with me yeah. one more hour. <laughs> yeah. All right, Peter. Pulling that team. What we got? We got something. Can we, we get any sardines? Anything? I mean, uh, squid, uh, uh, scrimp. You know, I was looking for barbecue scrimp tonight. We ain't got nothing. Oh, come on, boys. Let's go and go back to the shore. Right, 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 right. Jesus preaching. Cleaning the nets. Man, I'm tired. Yeah, I'm tired too, Peter. We worked hard all last night. We didn't catch nothing. Yeah, well, man, maybe we'll get a better luck night tonight. I mean, you know, we get something. What you want? Put out a little bit from the shore. I'm cleaning my nets. Put out a little bit from the shore. I ain't finished cleaning my nets. How these nets gonna get clean? I ain't got no food to take home this evening, honey. He didn't say nothing. Pushed out. Yes, sir. He put himself available to Jesus. Yes. Sitting up, hearing the word. He heard Jesus preaching, just like some of y'all. Y'all hearing the words. You know what you're doing? You're the crowd. Because you're not making yourself available. Well, how you feel about that? You know what? It don't bother me. My job is to tell you. That's what he told him in Ezekiel, third chapter. He said, you just tell them whether they listen or not. I'm telling you, I'm doing my job. And you know what you're doing? You're really screwing up yourself. Because if you put God's kingdom first and you do what God tells you to do, then you don't fret like the world. You don't sweat like the world. You don't grieve like the world. You're not in the world. You are the kingdom of God. And when you're in the kingdom of God, when you can't, you still can. In the world, when you can't, you down for the count. Yes, sir. But with God, in fact, that's the word of God. That's what Jesus said. With man... It's impossible. But with God, all things are possible. So when you can't do it with God, yes, you can. See, there are going to be things that you're going to try to do that are going to be impossible for you. That's what he said. You got to recognize, like it was with Peter, it was impossible for him to go back that night and catch it. But Jesus made it up for him. See, if God has to stop the world 
for you to win. He'll stop it till you win. If he had to go back, run the back, run, run, spin the world backwards for you to get ahead, he'll do it. Where you get that from? Go read what he did with Hezekiah when Hezekiah Hezekiah him. Go read the scripture. He moved the world backwards. You only that? Yes, he did. Don't play with me. I ain't got time to explain all that. But God will do for you. I'll tell you what. You'll get up in the morning. You, you go to bed at night realizing that you ain't got the money to take care of the situation. But when you've been serving God, I get you to understand, you go to bed at night and you got the money to do it. No, you didn't get what I just said. Here's what I'm talking about. When you ain't been serving God, you go to bed at night, you ain't got the money to pay the bill in the morning. Guess what? When the morning comes, you ain't got the money, money to pay. But when you've been serving God, you go to bed at night and you got the money. Now, wait a minute, what that mean? That meant God changed the doggone situation when you started serving him. Some of y'all are able to make it today because what you've been doing for God already. Stop. If you hadn't done what you did yesterday for the Lord, you wouldn't be able to pay your bill today. You hear what I'm trying to tell you? God can change circumstances on your behalf. You sitting around waiting on something to happen, and maybe it hadn't happened because God waiting on you to do the thing that's going to pull the trigger. You do him first. You put him first, then he take care of you. Well, I ain't got no job. Well, you don't need no job. You ain't doing the job I gave you. You didn't hear me. I've been looking and looking and looking and looking and looking for a job. I ain't got one. Son, I done gave you a job. You ain't working that job. You ain't faithful in the job I gave you. Why should I give you another job? But I need a job in order to pay my bills. You haven't been faithful. Don't you realize you don't pay your bills by the work you do? If I didn't give you the air to breathe, if I didn't give you the body and the heart beating in there, you wouldn't be able to work that stupid job you want to get. Better learn to put me first. Some of the hell you've been going through is going through in order to get you to realize you can't do it by yourself. That's what he did. Why do you think he made Peter work out there all night long so Peter could realize, I can't do it? And so that Peter would be able to realize the next day that when I've done something for God first, it's easy. Cast your nets. Let down your nets. And that's what he said. Let it down. They've been throwing the nets out there. He said, just let it down. And fish swim into the net. Come on now. They out there trying to find some fish. But when he do the work for God, see, he said this. He said, when you give, check this out. Read that thing where he said, he said, give and it shall be given unto you, shall men give unto your book. In other words, God said, I'm going to raise somebody up. When you're doing the work that I intend for you, I'll raise somebody up to take care of your needs for you. I'll make them come from ways you never knew, from the east, from the west, from the south, from the north. There'll be people that'll come around to take care of you. There'll be things that'll happen for you that you didn't even expect to happen. He said, but you got to put me first so I can take care of my business. Yeah. 